Hi everyone. The question for today is do you need to have all of your processes down, all of your processes in order before you can outsource? And you might be a little surprised to hear me, um, a system strategist and someone who's all about processes and streamlining businesses, say that you don't have to, not necessarily. So I'm going to talk you through um, the different types of people that you can outsource to and what that means for where you're at in business and the processes that you're going to need to look at. I'm Karen Hewson, Productivity and System Strategist, and you can learn more about me up there at KarenHewson.com. So one thing to think about when you're looking to outsource or when you're thinking about your business and what you could potentially outsource later is whether you're wanting someone to come in and manage a whole area for you or whether you just want to outsource a few tasks. Um, so those are, are two of the main types of outsourcing. And the third I want to throw in there is also project based. So there's task based. I think there's sort of managing a whole area of your business and project based. So let me talk through those and how that relates to how set up you need to be right now um, for your processes. So if you're getting someone to come in and manage a whole area, say like a social media manager, you need to decide, do you want someone to help you with the strategy of it? Do you want to, for them to have expertise that you don't have to come on board and to set things up for you, to monitor it, to analyze it, to keep improving it, and also to do the work of um, scheduling out posts, maybe creating posts, um, I don't know, tagging them, optimizing, whatever the, they, they do and know how to do because they're spe specialists in that area. So with your social media or with other um, other types of specialties, that's one thing you need to think about. If you want someone to just do the task, so you kind of, you love social media, it's kind of your thing, um, you are strategizing and adapting things so that they fit into the bigger picture of your business, so you're not really ready to hand over that strategic part of it yet, um, but you don't want to be the one actually, you know, writing posts or putting them together and scheduling them out, like that actual doing work is taking you time in your weeks that you don't need to be doing, so you want to outsource just that task-based work. So the first example when someone's managing things is you don't have to have the process um, down. You want to have an understanding of where you're at and what you want to achieve, but when you bring that person on board, they can help you set everything up and get there. Um, so a great thing to ask them to do is to actually like document things. So have um, your strategy outlined somewhere, have a checklist for what they're doing for you on all the social media platforms so that um, if later on you want to um, change your situation so maybe they've helped you set everything up but you want to then transition to someone else just doing the task because that strategy is working um, or you need to bring new people on board to um, take over more of that person's work or they just you know move on and you need someone new you've got all of that documentation there for an easy transition so that's a good way to outsource your processes and the documenting when you bring someone like that on board who's um, you know bringing their expertise to um, to your business if it's someone who's going to be doing the tasks for you then that is where you want to have some processes in place first um, but you don't have to have everything perfect we always know that done is better than perfect that's a big motto um, for me and around around these parts so um, Think about, you know, you need to know what you want them to do. So you need to know, if we continue the social media example, um, you know, what platforms you want them to post on, what content they're going to need to post, um, you know, what time frame you want them to schedule it out for, maybe what stats you want them tracking every week. All of those bits and pieces, you want to understand the strategy and what information um, you need, what information they need to do the job, and then the steps they're going to go through. The quickest and simplest way to sort of document this for someone else to do it is simply to record your screen when you do it next. So maybe it's not the next time it needs to happen that you can outsource, but it can be the time after that. So the next time you go to schedule out social media for the week, hit record. <laughs> I can um, share a few um, resources for screen recording um, in another post. 
on my page I'll link to that but um, you know hit record and as you're going through it just record your screen talk um, through what you're doing it might be a really long video to start with but it's kind of like an impromptu training for them it's as if they were sitting next to you watching how you do it and then they're going to go away and do it themselves so that usually um, doesn't take extra time in your week you're not taking extra time to sit down and write a checklist the other thing you can get someone to do once you've recorded your video is if you want something documented and paper based you can get them to write a nice little checklist so take the key points out of that video and write a checklist that they'll they can then use as well going forward because they won't need to you know watch a you know 15 20 minute video every week before they do the task maybe once or twice as they get familiar but then just having a quick reference sheet for them is going to be really helpful to make sure that they don't miss anything um, so definitely uh, it doesn't have to be as onerous as you think the other thing when you're bringing someone on board even if it is just to do the tasks have a think about what experience they do bring to the table. So they might not be an, um, like an expert or a social media manager, someone who's niched right down to that particular topic. But if you've got, if you're bringing on a VA, for example, to do those tasks, then they could have worked with other clients on their social media. They will have been exposed to, and it's relevant to what they do, to be more up to date with um, social media or with other topics than you necessarily are because you're focused on your um, sort of business, your industry, and, and what products and services you offer. So make sure you pick their brains, you know, ask what they're doing with other people, ask what they've found has worked and hasn't, uh, and, you know, work with them to refine your process. Because I know when I brought my VA on, and social media um, scheduling was one of the things that, um, that I was getting her to do, and I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do, and I got her set up in doing that, but the actual way of working together so that I could create the posts, and she knew what was coming up, and what the calendar was, and what those posts were supporting, um, it took us a good couple months to come up with a process that worked for both of us. Because the other thing is when you bring someone else on board, they have a certain working style, and they're going to be doing tasks, and they won't necessarily... Um, receive the information they need for those tasks in the same way you might prefer so it's definitely I like to refine a process once you've got someone on board to ask them is it working for them are they getting everything they need is something awkward or tripping them up so within my project management software I use Asana um, I have these task templates with the little checklists in them that I that I created for my VA but after she'd been doing it a while and she sort of said oh you know this isn't sort of working a hundred percent for me I was like well I don't use those checklists you use those checklists so basically go for your life like you know what they need to reflect you know the process that they need to help you um, execute and you know update them however you like because that's going to um, help her work better more confidently and then if we need to you know move things around and get other people to do those tasks at any time then they're there um, still in a documented way so just coming back to those two types of people, people who you bring on board to manage an area and to also bring expertise and some strategic thinking that you don't necessarily have the expertise to, um, to implement in your business. Social media managers, an example, um, accountants and bookkeepers are another example, lawyers, another example. Um, there's probably lots if we went through your business. You can think of all the different um, hats that you wear, the different activities that you do. Um, but those are quite some common ones um, that, that everybody has. Um, and yeah, you can choose to completely kind of outsource that area, but you still want to understand what's happening at the strategic level and how they're supporting your business. You know, you need, you know that you need um, an accountant so that you can pay the right taxes and not pay more than you need and all that kind of stuff. So those are two more examples of people who are bringing expertise to your business that you don't have and they're almost going to tell you what they need so you know your accountant's going to come on board and say right i need your bank statements and you need to be um you know registered for a certain type of sales tax and you need to be um you know formatting your invoices like this you know they can answer all those questions for you and review all that stuff in your business 
so that you can you can implement it and you can be be working um, well for that area. Um, so that's bringing someone on board to manage things. Task orientated is really where, to some extent, you do need to have your processes down. But like I said, it can just be the next time you do something, you record your screen. Or um, even if you are getting someone on board to package and ship products, you could still do a video. You could still get... Um, like a friend or your husband or um, your kid or something to hold the camera or even prop it up on a tripod in the corner of your office and you can be okay this is where I keep these products and I'm pulling them out to do my um, packaging for today and then you know that you get your box out and you get your um, I don't know the tissue paper out and you put the order in and you include your business card and blah 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 so you can actually be you know recording yourself even if it's a physical task and that's going to be a great prompt again the first thing that you can get someone to do is to write a checklist of those key points and by them having that as a reference they'll be able to say right I know I go here for the materials but I don't necessarily know which materials go for different products and so you they can help you provide them the information um, because you know that first time they do it they are a blank slate you have you know so much <laughs> you don't realize how much you know until you teach someone else how to do it so they'll be able to help and say oh okay I don't know that I use that one I just thought we used this one all the time so um, yeah again that videoing is going to be really quick and then you can almost outsource your processes at the same time um, the third type is project based and again this is often it can be both it can be someone who comes in with expertise maybe it's a graphic designer or a web designer and it could also be someone who you just need to do more tasks so maybe it's the time bound stuff so what we've been talking about today is more that ongoing um, activity in your business you know accountants you need someone or a bookkeeper needs to be doing stuff every month social media is an ongoing thing anything that's time bound so you're doing a new launch or a rebrand any of those projects that's, that's got a clear start and finish you might be able to outsource some work temporarily so Maybe you get a graphic designer on board to do a certain amount of work. Um, maybe you get uh, your VA to do more hours for a couple months because you've got a launch happening. Uh, that kind of stuff there. But it's the same thing. Um, if they're, they're bringing expertise to the table, they will know what they need from you to complete the job. You just need to know what your outcomes are. And if it's um, someone just doing the tasks, then... You know record what you're doing for the first time so maybe if it's ongoing um, activity through a launch maybe the first time it happens you do it and then the subsequent weeks of sending out extra emails to a certain segment you've already recorded the um, the way you want your list segmented for that launch and then you know your VA or someone can continue doing that for that time period so I hope that's really helpful to say no, you don't need all your processes down before you outsource. You can really utilize the people that you bring on board um, to, to help you improve your processes as they're doing them. A fresh pair of eyes is always so valuable. Um, like I said, you don't know how much you know until you teach someone else to do it. And you also don't realize how much you're keeping in your head, like how much space that stuff is taking up that you can free up by outsourcing. Um, the other thing I do want to say is um, on, if you go to my website, I do outline sort of four stages when you're systematizing and outsourcing is the fourth one. Um, there are good reasons why you might want to do that straight away, but if outsourcing, you're like, oh, okay, now I don't have the excuse of getting my processes in order. Um, do have, you know, you might be ready to outsource. It's really um, so much more, I guess, affordable and accessible now than than people think. But also have a think about. Um, you know, simplifying, streamlining or automating those processes before you get someone on board if they are going to be task based rather than, you know, managing that area. If they're managing, then they'll be able to help you simplify, streamline and automate the areas of that process that um, that can be. 
um yeah i think that's it so if you've got any other questions through watching this drop them in the comments and i'll come back to you otherwise you can um yeah hop over to my website and have a poke around i've got um, an updated home page there i've got a get focused workbook that's just been launched that's going to help you identify all of your um all of the activities in your business that you need to do to keep it running and you can like stop doing all this other stuff that's taking up time um and i've also just launched a 90 minute get focus session for 349 us dollars and that's a one-off session where you can get my fresh eyes on your business to have a look at um, simplifying, streamlining, whatever opportunities you might have to automate and outsource that you can't see. So if you know you need to get organized, you don't know where to start, you know that you want to be automating and you want to bring someone on board, but you don't know how to get from where you are to actually, you know, being able to talk to someone about, I want you to do these tasks, um, then definitely go to, go to my website. There's a link on the homepage to learn more about the Get Focus session and check that out. All right, guys, I hope that helps. And again, pop any questions you've got down below and we'll keep the conversation going. See ya.